Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video, and it is going to be a video all about budgeting. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys two different methods, like the two main methods, and some tips for those, and also a few other tips before we get into those. So some tips is you can find budgeting, free budgeting worksheets on Google Images. Like, just go to Google Images and type in free budgeting worksheets, and there's tons for different things, like vacations and whatever else. Find one. You know, if you want to, you can find one that would work for you. There is tons of different ways to budget your money. So go on Pinterest, go on the interwebs, and look up just different ways on how to budget your money. There's tons of different tips out there. I'm going to get started with the first method of budgeting, and this is what I call the plan ahead method. Um, this method, I feel like, works best for a fixed income when you know exactly how much money you're going to get. I personally don't have a fixed income, but if I did, this was the method I would try and use this method. Um, so first things first with the plan ahead method is you want to write down how much you receive in a month on average. I need to keep track for a few months to figure out like what the average is, but if you have a fixed income, like you know you work the same amount of hours every week, so you're gonna get around the same amount of money that's what I would consider a fixed income. I My hours can fluctuate and which means my paycheck fluctuates which is why I'm not able to use this method. The next tip is when you're budgeting include all money so gift cards, gifts, I don't know whatever you get if it's money include it and because this is gonna be crucial in your budgeting because if you're not including these gift cards then that's just money that you haven't allotted or anything. The next tip is to keep track of everything you spend. Save receipts and write everything down. So for this method, if you have a fixed income, I would probably use a debit card if I had this method. So basically with the debit card, you want to keep track of all the money or even with cash, you want to keep track of the money you've spent using your receipts as well as um, like keeping track of your total by using like a register or something for your wallet. Just write everything down. Um, and to find out how much you save, you're going to want to subtract what you earn minus what you spent, and that would be what you saved. Um, and then once you have those basic computations down, um, you're going to basically divide your money into what you like plan on earning or receiving your spending category and your save and I'm going to show you an example in this book. This is, if you're wondering, and I'm totally dorky because I still have this, this is the American Girl, A Smart Girl's Guide to Money book. As you can see, this is well loved. I used it all the time, but I still have this book and that's where I got some of these tips. So this is the budgeting method that I use. So basically it says budget and you put what you expect you earn or receive in a month. Um, what you plan to spend in a month and then what you plan to save and you basically just chunk it out so you can put paycheck for me that would be like it well I get some allowance but you know like if you're an adult you're just gonna have your paycheck and you can put how much you plan to earn or receive um, and then what you plan to spend so what you plan to spend on bills and food spending money things like that and you can total it and then what you plan to save is how much money you have left at the end of the month or like how much money you have left out of your paycheck once you've taken out what you plan to spend um, and then you can save that money and figure out that. So this is basically what I'm trying to show you. I feel like this would work pretty great. Anyways, hopefully that method kind of made sense. Next is the what I call plan as you go method and this is for variable incomes so like my income is variable I never know like I can never know exactly how much my check is going to be I mean you really can't with the other one either but I mean my check can fluctuate by hundreds of dollars if I'm only working one or two days a week I'm going to have less than a hundred dollars if I'm working like four days a week I have almost like around a little over two hundred dollars if I'm working 40 plus hours a week I have 300 plus hours usually or three hundred dollar plus three hundred plus dollars I mean so as you can see like my income really depends on how many hours I'm working where I don't have like a fixed amount of hours that I'm working every week 
for sure it's just what I'm scheduled this is the method I use so when I get a paycheck I look at how much money there is and I plan from there so the first thing I do is I write down date, um, and I plan out my so I put the amount first of how much money I got and I just have one down here as well and then the first thing I do is subtract fixed expenses so my monthly payments like for my subscription services and my phone bill those are fixed it's the same amount every month and I have to pay that money um, so first I subtract that because that's most important next I subtract anything down here that I'm taking money out of that paycheck for next for the different categories that I decide to split my money up against I write them down in order of most important so first is car money I'm currently saving for a new car a better car because mine just has so many issues and I just don't want to deal with it so I'm just saving for a new car then the next thing I want to save for is a new camera because I really want to get a Canon Rebel T6i that is my goal that's what I want and I found the perfect bundle deal and everything and it's in my card on Amazon I just need to save the money and I have my money for dance season because during dance I don't work as much which I won't have this issue after this next year as I'll be out of high school and won't dance anymore or have dance anymore for the right now that's what I have and basically I just save money for fixed expenses are covered so my subscriptions and my phone bill for four months is covered so it's like five I think it's like 500 and I don't remember how much it is over $500 but I figured out if I save like so much from each check I'll be good to go and covered and won't have to worry about it during dance season so the little bit of money I am getting from working my little bit of hours I'll be able to use for spending money for dance and just for like gas money and stuff and I won't have to worry about those fixed expenses next important category is gas money because we all you just you need money to put gas in your car and then next is makeup basically the makeup category is money that I'm putting towards something for YouTube whether it be to go to Walmart and buy makeup or save for something for or like save money for Sephora you know like just allotting a little bit of money each paycheck to spend on makeup beauty hair products anything like that just because since I do since I do YouTube, uh, I tend to spend that money. And then the last category is spending money, and spending money is basically money that I spend on food. That is the money I have to spend on food or other random little things that I might end up spending money on. And I just divide it out for much I have, and then on the side I just do like how much cash I want to get at the bank, how much I'm depositing, and then also at the bottom, I do a current outlook, so I take the amount, of, like, the average of the amount of money that I've been saving, divide the price divide, of the item divided by the average, and I've figured out, like, like how long until I get it, so, and I just cash my paycheck and get the cash, divide the cash up that way, that's just what I'm doing right now, that might change in the future, like, I'll put, like, maybe I'll start putting, like, my car money in the bank or something, but... Yeah, for right now I just take out the cash and I have little envelopes and I put the money in envelopes and divide them up and label them and I put how much money should be in each envelope so I can keep track of if I took any money out of it for some reason or something. And yeah, so hopefully that made a little bit of sense and those are the two methods that I am decided to tell you guys about today. There's tons of different methods. Do your research, look stuff up, find out what would be best for you and honestly just be smart with your money. If you don't have money to spend on makeup or some new thing that you want, don't spend the money on it. You know, figure out what money you need to save, what you need to save for bills, like just be smart with your money and I think that that will help. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you have any requests. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it would make my day. And also if you're new here, you should subscribe because I make tons of awesome content. So yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video and it is just going to be this eye shadow tutorial. Um, and it is just kind of like a more wearable, grown-up looking St. Patrick's Day look. Um, I feel like classic St. Patrick's Day colors are just really bright and unwearable. Like, like I'm not going to put these shades of green on my eyeballs, for example. And I feel like those are really classic 
St. Patrick's Day colors. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment down below if you have any requests and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Katie and I would love it if you stick around. And also, I think that's it. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. I don't know what this was, but yeah.